Hola, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que estén teniendo un muy buen día y también un muy buen semana. Este, ¿Qué van a estar haciendo esta semana y este fin de semana también? Déjenmelo en los comments, comments below, ¿ok? Um, hi, 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 my loves. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day and a good week as well. Um, leave it in the comments below if you're doing anything exciting. Love to hear about it. Um, but yeah, we are back with another video. I have another channel. It's going to be a finance dedicated channel. Okay. I'll leave it in the link below. If you want to see more of this type of content, make sure to check out that channel and subscribe to that channel as well as I plan on putting out more finance related content on that channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. It helps out the channel so, so much. Thank you. Love you so much. Oh yeah. So I'm back with another video and today I want us to talk a little bit more about a topic that I have brought up in a few of my latest latest uh, videos and that is the topic of net worth. Yay! <laughs> So I think I feel like, you know, this is a topic that that goes ignored quite often. Dating and relationships. I've noticed that a lot of women ignore uh this part, which is actually one of, if not the most important part, the most important prerequisite, right? When it comes to any male that you might be talking to, that you might be trying to talk to you, that you might be thinking about dealing with. Okay. This is, this is literally the simplest step and where you want to make sure to start. Okay. Is your net worth. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about what is net worth. Let's see if we can learn a little bit more about it and why it's so important within the dynamics of relationships, okay? So net worth is essentially calculating your assets uh, minus your liabilities, okay? It's as simple as that, right? So net worth takes into consideration all of your assets and then from all of your assets and the value of all of your assets combined, it subtracts, subtracts all of your liabilities and then you get your net worth okay so what does that mean well if you have a lot of bills if you have um a lot of debt okay your net worth is not it's probably not going to be looking very pretty depending on your assets if you if so if you don't have a lot of assets or you don't have a lot of assets of value but yet you have a lot of bills yet you have student loans yet you have credit card loans you have you know kiddos and that you're paying for and so you have a lot of liabilities okay um car note right uh rent a mortgage so if you have all these liabilities right and not enough assets to cover it then your net worth is actually going to sit in the negative okay and so the way that we look at this very simple concept is we simply take the total amount of assets we subtract it by the liabilities and that gives us what our net worth is this is actually a really really good marker it's a really really good practice to do and to continue to do throughout the um just throughout your journey of building wealth and assessing others for you know the the potential um that they might have what they might be able to bring into your um into your life especially from a financial perspective if you're out there you know dating or if a male tries to approach you in any way shape or form okay ladies <laughs> all right so some examples of assets right any cash any savings any investments crypto property equity cars jewelry okay what are all all of these valued at you know you could also put your house although that is a long standing debate in the finance community as to you know is your house a liability is it an asset it's like eh, eh, eh. i have a special way of calculating it that takes both into consideration uh, you know because you know it could be both i mean it, it's a liability and as an it's an asset so it, it is a long-standing debate in the in the finance community whether or not to add that in the assets or in the liabilities category but yeah it's a long-standing debate because it, it is both you know if you own a home it can be both depending on the value of the home right so 
Um, for simplicity's sake, we can take and leave the house out and you calculate everything else, right? And so in order to find out what the net worth of this male is, you will have to see, okay, what are all his assets? But most importantly, you have to know what are his liabilities. I've heard too many horror stories of women that get with males, they date the ma they date these males, the relationship get, gets more serious, and then they even go as far as getting married. Oh my gosh, because they haven't been listening to my videos, of course, right? <laughs> so they even go as far as getting married to these males, only to find out that, you know, these males have a bunch of student loan, they have a bunch of debt, they have you know, all of these things that, uh, you know, are not beneficial and will make you suffer. Okay. So this is why it's so important to do this very, very early on in the dating stage, because the, you kind of, you want to know before you invest all the time and energy that would be required from, from you in order to vet this individual to see if he is indeed potentially part of the one to 2% of males that we would be able to tolerate. Okay. Um, so so that's kind of what that looks like. Now, there is several breakdowns and I will say, I mean, it's unfortunate, but this is the truth from what I found in my research when I researched this as well, um, because I keep up with these types of topics. The um, African-American community has the lowest net worth class. So uh, they came in around a net worth of $44,000, which is really, really low. So the African-American community has the lowest uh, then, you know, there's the white, the, the white non-Hispanic, then there's the Caucasian. Um, I believe the Caucasian has the highest, of course, um, because they, uh, there, there's more of them really. There's more of them generally when it comes to population wise. And also we all know the other reasons why, right? Um, but even the, even the, um, non-white Hispanics, uh, came out at quite a bit above the African-American community when it comes to net worth. Uh, but yeah, so you can also break it down by, um, by race, uh, but we're not going to look at it based off of race today. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the breakdown based off of age. Okay. So let's take a look at what that looks like. The federal reserves, uh, every three years actually does a study uh, every three years, uh, they do a survey, they do a study to get the averages of what the net worth it currently is um, in each age category. Okay, so that's where this data comes from. Uh, it's from the Federal Reserves and the study that they do every three years to, to find the data. Uh, so the approximates should be close enough. So the first set here is actually the average. The second set is based on the median. So what I want you to understand is the difference between the average and the median, okay? So the average, uh, it's a good data set. That's a good data set to go based off of. However, um, it can get quite skewed if there's a lot of outliers, okay? So if we have the bell, if we have a bell curve that is, um, that is not centered enough and there's a lot of outliers, then the data gets skewed, okay? And then that reflects in the average as well. Uh, versus the median, the median, not so much. So the median is a little bit more constricted. Um, it, it accounts for those potential outliers a little bit more, I, I suppose you could say, right? So um, both are okay to use, but let's take a look at the um, average data, okay? Because now you will start to see based off of this why I call them the one to two percent because as you can see under the age of 35 uh, the data is showing that the average net worth net worth of individuals that are under the age of 35 is 76,300 between ages 35 and 44 that's 436,200 between 45 and 54 that's 833,200 and between 55 64 a million plus 65 to 74 a million plus and 75 and of over 977 uh, thousand uh, plus. Okay. It's interesting how 75 and over is less, right? But I'm assuming that it's probably because um, these are retirement ages, right? So if we start from age around age 55 to that 75 age, usually people retire along those lines and start drawing from whatever savings they might have and whatever resources they might have uh, um, 
gathered during that time. And hence, I'm I'm willing to bet that that's why we see a little bit of a di dip here uh, from ages 75 and over. OK, so this is why I always say, OK, it's the one to two percent. And when I say things, y'all, it is based off of data. All right. So what you're looking for is the one to two percent. OK, um, 436, 200. What that, what that tells me is there's quite a few outliers OK, that are skewing the data towards these numbers. OK, so it's the one to two percent, like I said. All right. So this is the median data. OK, so the median data does not necessarily uh, take the outliers into consideration as much as the average data does. Uh, so under 35, 13,900, 13, 900, it's like the opposite spectrum. And so I'm, I'd much rather go with the average just because you get a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit clearer numbers, all right? But you could still see that you would be looking for the one to 2%, okay? So even in the median data, under the age of 35, the average is showing as 13,900, okay? So you don't want to be with an individual that only has a net worth of 13,900, okay? So definitely you're not looking for the average individual, right? So we're, again, nine, one, and then uh, this is further constructed by gender, okay? So ladies, again, this is further constricted by gender. So you're, we're looking at the average 13,900 and then we chop it down even more and we say, okay, only males, right? So <laughs> you see how we arrive at the, the, the fact, the fact based off of data that, you know, about 98% of males, no good, can't do anything with them. You got to stick with um, that one to 2%. You got to stick with those males that fight against their inherent nature every day and have made it a habit to do so. And so therefore have made it a priority to transcend beyond um, just the, the bare minimum um, animalistic instincts. You know what I mean? So they've even maybe potentially been able to cultivate some of that empathy that they struggle, their species struggles so much with and struggle so much to have, all right? And then the 35 to 44 age group is um, over 91,000, uh, 45 to 54 age group over 168,000, 55 to 64 over 200K, um, and 65 to 74 over 266K, okay? And so what do I tell you? Well, you need to find um, a male that whose average net worth is at least 180 minimum, okay? Totally, totally doable. All right. You see this? Totally, totally doable. But they are not average. You can see these are the average numbers. Okay. So that individual would not be average. Okay. Unless you're going for a severely, I mean, not a severely, but like just a way older male, you know what I mean? Like 55, 64. <laughs> and you're young, you know, then he probably has actually his net worth should be way, way higher than 212. If he's between the ages of 55 and 64, 212 is actually really, really low. Okay. Let's take a look at the average, um, the average data, which gives us a little bit of a clearer data set, right? It considers those outliers, the outliers being the one to two percenters. Okay. And we can kind of take a look and see, okay. Um, ages 55 to 64, that should be a little bit over a million. That's what you really should be working with. Okay. This is what uh, a male that's been putting in the work. That's what that looks like. All right. And then 65 to 74 over a million and then 75 and over 977 thousand um a little bit over that so um you know so i just wanted to kind of share these numbers with you to kind of show you and give you um an idea so that we could you know just take a look at the net worth and why i've been talking about net worth so much because it's that important okay um so next time that you're uh being hit on by some random male or talking to a guy make sure make doubly sure that, you know, this is an individual that's financially responsible. That's how I view it. I view this as financially being, it's like being financially responsible in today's day and age, you have to be financially responsible. Again, the middle class is going away. Okay. The middle class was not, um, fabricated. It wasn't a natural occurrence in the first place. And so therefore it will not be here in just a number of years. It will be completely gone. It has a lot of a lot of it has gone away already. Okay. So what does that mean? It's going to be the poor, rich, that's it. 
There's no middle class, okay? So you want to make sure that you position yourself accordingly. You want to make sure that you position your family accordingly and your future accordingly. You don't want to choose a male that's poor because guess what? Then that means that that's what you're breathing your generations into, right? Like any kids you have will be will be born into poverty, okay? And it will be very, very hard, very, very hard hard for them to get out of that poverty, especially the poverty mindset that tends to come with poverty. Okay. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to make those very, very poor decisions. Okay. That's why this matters so, so much, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely continue to cover this content. Now I have another channel. It's going to be a finance dedicated channel. Okay. I'll leave it in the link below. If you want to see more of this type of content, make sure to check out that channel and subscribe to that channel as well as I plan on putting out more finance related content on that channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. It helps out the channel so, so much. Thank you. Love you so much. Oh gosh. And leave your comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think? And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.